Hello, I'm Engineer and this is a preview of one of my new mods and this time it's the Visual Lure mod. Yes, that's right, Visual Lure. Now, a lot of you have probably noticed that uh, Counter-Strike 2D has very few user interface functions. Uh, they're pretty much, what, menu function, uh, hot text and uh, sometimes hot images. And that's all. Now, that wasn't enough for me. And what does Crypto do when he doesn't have something? That's right, he makes it himself. And that was the case. So I did, and here it is the Visual Lure mod. Now, let's see. Worth a thousand words. Isn't it? So, um, I made so when the script executes, it shows this welcome screen to the player with ID 1. Now you can see that this window is very similar to the windows in Windows operation system that is. Uh, there's this headline with the distinctive uh, Vista Windows 7 ish color. The headline uh, then uh, one pixel, not one pixel, couple of pixels uh, white border to separate c the content from the headline and the content area itself. So here you can see some text which you can change and here you see a button. Okay great. Mm. Now it's probably not seen in the video but when you hover your mouse over the button you there's uh, such a hover effect, a little glow from uh, from under the button, like from the bottom of, bo of the button, and when you like click it, it uh, plays a little click animation and executes the function, passes the function it was assigned. So basically, with this mod, you can create windows with different content in them: mm, text, some buttons. Um, images, well right now there isn't a separate function for images but I may edit later. So, mm, and with this mod you get countless opportunities. Uh, so for example, uh, you can make this kind of a screens. I know some admin screens like Slap Player and uh, you have these like two buttons in this case. So, for example, you press the first button and your health goes down to 5. See, the bot's health is 100. We open the window again, we click bot 1, and his health is 5 now. So, you can assign any function you want to the button. It, it, it can be any, any, and every, and any uh, Lua function, but right now, with no arguments. Uh, I may change it in later versions so the functions would have some arguments but right now it's just a uh, not argumented uh, Lua function you can only assign them to buttons so uh, now what else there are oh, right uh, buttons and windows have uh, styles for them. So there are two tables called button styles and window styles. Um, they, 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 they're basically like style sheets in CSS. So there are uh, a couple of images which images to use as f in button for example as what image to use for an inactive button, a hover button, a click button, so this is the sizes of images, the colors, and so on. For Windows, it's well, pretty much the same. The color of the headline, some other stuff, the color of the of the background, the headline background, this thingy. So basically, you can customize it any way you want. You can use any images, you can put any colors, you can basically do everything with this mod. And that should probably be it. It's not the kind of the mods uh, that 
change uh, gameplay very much. It's just kind of an auxiliary mod, so to speak. So, I wish you well. I wish you luck. Uh, I wish you have fun with this new mod of mine. And until next time, take care.